it's Rhonda, your Cheshire Canary, and I'm back with you. I am trying to uh, keep this channel going, and I'd like to build it a little bit, because I got a life journey that I'm not alone on. A lot of people, aw, that sucks. A lot of people, uh, in the same situation I'm in. And I figure I'll take you along with me. Um, let me back up a little bit here. Uh, that was weird. Um, let me back up a little bit here. In October, I got a case of food poisoning. Well, it turned into something a lot more transitioned into something a lot more uh, horrifying. Um, I threw two blood clots, one to from my legs to uh, my heart and one to my lungs. I ended up in uh, the hospital for a week. Once I finally just uh, gave up and I wasn't getting any better. Um, they drained a liter of fluid off my lungs, my right lung, and then I went home. I was home for a week, was not getting any better at all, went back, the fluid was back, and they pulled a, a liter and a half off of my right lung. Um, I'm on all kinds of medication, uh to uh, deal with the blood clotting um, and my type 2 diabetes is at the point right now anyway that I need insulin and um, I also have to watch salt intake so my wonderful diet is basically meat um, I'm on a Coumadin program which thins my blood for the clots. So there's a lot of veggies I can't eat anymore or I have to really limit what I eat. If it's dark green, you know, spinach, asparagus, um, arugula, uh, even cauliflower. I can't eat it. Um, then I'm on a low salt diet. And my, but what's weird is my sodium levels low. Go figure. Anyhow, so I guess I've been doing that right. And then I'm on a low sugar. So what it kind of boils down to is iceberg lettuce and protein. And it's clean protein. It can't be processed. I can't go to the deli to get deli meat. It has to be clean uh, protein. Not from the deli. Because they've been processed and cured with salt and things of that nature. So, anyhow, I have lost weight. Um, some of it's water, some of it's not. I've kind of plateaued and I think I've hit the top for water. But that's fine. we got to keep the water off so it doesn't fill that sack between my lung and the outside up anymore. Um, that's nothing you can cough up, folks. That's why they had to pull it off with a syringe. Oops, sorry about that. That's why they have to pull it off with a syringe. There we go. Um, but today is the first day of my physical rehab. I've been doing uh, two months worth of medical, uh, trying to get all of my levels right, you know, my blood, my blood pressure, my sugar, try to get all those right, which they are. In fact, my sugar got so low that I scared myself. Um, I now know another indicator of when my sugar is low. I have zero energy again. Um, I went and spent a day with a friend of mine and, you know, just out running around and got home to have supper and my sugar was 59. It's like, oh, I could be food. Uh, so anyhow, 
But today is my beginning of my physical rehab. In theory, I should be going back to work on Monday if I have a job. I'm hoping I have a job. We shall see, but I don't, I'm not fretting about that. If I don't have a job, I'll figure it out. It's not a big deal. I've been without a job before recently, so I'll just work past it. It's fine. So, today is the first day of my physical therapy rehab. Let me tell you what I can do. When I was first sick and just home from the hospital, I could maybe walk 10 yards not a joke. Um, there are 13 steps from the ground level where the kitchen and everything is to my bedroom. I would commiserate going down and up them um, because those are some pretty amazing 13 steps. Uh, I could maybe drop, walk 10 yards. I got good enough that I could do a convenience store um, I didn't have to always use the cart if I had to run in real quick and it was close to the front at the grocery store. All well and good. And then they changed my meds and it all went downhill again. So, but they were trying to bring more numbers down. Um, I'm slowly getting better. Um, I still can't do as much as I want to do and I'm going to do. But um, today is the first day of physical rehab. Um, and I think they were waiting to do the physical rehab. So I got, until I got this little bugger. This is called, this is the pack for what's called a life vest. It monitors my heart. And it constantly, uh, well not constantly, several times a day uploads to the manufacturer everything my heart does. It's also a portable defibrillator. So in case at some point I go into arrhythmia or something of that uh, fact, if I'm asleep and it goes through a lot of warnings, it can actually shock me. So this little box right here does an awful lot does not check your location though so that's kind of stupid um but i digress so i think they wanted to have me monitored a little bit better before they started the physical therapy and that's fine without insurance folks you're looking at 500 dollars to borrow this because i have to turn it back in when we're done but at the end, we'll find out if I need a pacemaker or defibrillator implanted. Um, I haven't had the alarm go off. It hasn't shocked me. Um, I have had some false alarms. Uh, I traveled and it went off in the airport, but that's a lot of electronics going off at once. So it, there was nothing wrong. I called the manufacturer, they looked through. There is no flippy flippy in the cardiac signature or anything. <clears throat> it was just, you know, uh, interference with the airport. It also happened uh, when I was walking in Walmart, but um, it might be because, you know, this is electronic equipment. It went from a really, really nice warm car to 20 degrees outside. So I'm thinking that could have done it. It wasn't me, I felt fine. Um, but, uh, I called the manufacturer and once again, there was not a problem. So, I'm on my way to my first day of physical therapy. Y'all have a fantastic day and I'll give you, a, uh, an update after I do physical therapy the first day and let you know what's going on. So, as always, love your family. Keep a song in your heart and keep smiling.